My name is Ronnie Cruz, and this is Path, Path of the Network Market. All right, welcome back to the show. In today's episode, we are going to talk about resistance. That's right, resistance. I got this idea from a new podcast I'm listening to called Earn Your Happy uh, with host Lori Harder. Lori Harder. This is episode 968 of Earn Your Happy from November 8th. I mean, golly, 968 episodes. I mean, she's got well more than that now at this point, but uh, that's incredible. Kudos to Lori and what she's put together with this show. Go check it out when you can. Now, resistance in our conversation I thought was a pertinent topic because yesterday we talked about you know email list and, and new tactics and strategies, therefore new skill sets um, that you have to learn and, and develop within yourself in order to, to move into this next era of network marketing, right? This era of, of online marketing. Um, Understand that resistance is a normal part of any journey, any growth journey, right? Whether whether you're, um, you know, have goals to become more fit and more healthy, whether it's, a, you know, to improve your finances, whether it's a business goal, whether it's personal development, any any journey that has a specific goal at the end of it requires resistance resistance points um, through the course of that journey because it's those resistances that that helps develop you, right? That makes you stronger so that you can actually take that journey all the way to the finish. Line. Um, the analogy that I like to use, obviously, is the, when you're when you're lifting weights, right? Like if you're in a fitness, if you have a fitness goal and you want to get stronger, your muscles need resistance in order to grow. And so the same thing with any growth journey, right? It needs you need that resistance for yourself in order to uh, to grow through that process and to get to your finish line. Um, Obviously, you know, one of the natural tendencies then is that when you meet resistance is to fall back and rely on what you already know, rely on what you what you're already doing. And, and guys, that's normal, too. Right. That's a normal that's a normal reaction to resistance because we don't like to be uncomfortable. Right. Our, the, that, that's a that's a natural kind of mechanism and, and programming that we have in our unconscious minds. Being in discomfort means uh, means a potential challenge to survival. Right. Like new things are, are scary. New things are, are challenging and therefore, you know, it's not safe. It's not safe to our, our basic survival needs. Obviously, that's not the case anymore. I mean, there's no saber-toothed tigers running around chasing us. Um, so so we still have these, these, uh, these mechanisms, however, in, in our minds. And, and when we meet those resistance points, um, we fall back and retreat. Um, for me, over, over the course of, uh, you know, my, most of my adult life, as I've worked on personal development, especially as I've gotten into uh, entrepreneurism and business, um, I've learned to really lean into uh, resistance because I know that like if I'm seeing any resistance or feeling any resistance, um, if, if there's a part of me that that doesn't want to do a certain thing, then I should probably go do that thing. Right. Because because, again, that's just the, the unconscious mind being resistant to change. Um, the online marketing situation, however, was a little bit different for me personally, because what I had known to work, um, you know, had worked so very well. And I did not feel like I needed to learn any new skills in order to keep my, my ship sailing. Um, however, what ended up happening was the stuff that I did know to work, um, I didn't realize that it was gradually over time becoming less and less effective in the marketplace. And so when I when I finally really started to take a fair look at, at, at business and, and the market arm of, of what I was doing, um, I, something had to give. And so it's online marketing, social media marketing was the natural next step. Yes, incredibly, incredibly resistant to it. Um, because you know it's intimidating. I, I'm not. I'm not a techie kind of guy. I'm, I'm not. Uh, you know, really very well versed in social media either. Algorithms, posting strategies, things like that. Right. Like I was very kind of um, you know intuitive, very natural, um, and and you know yeah, just kind of um, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for instinctual in my marketing, right? Like I was very kind of really developed people skills and, and, and built my business that way. So creating number one, just structure <laughs> for my marketing. And then number two, using technology that was completely foreign and therefore intimidating to me. Of course, there was a lot of resistance. Um, so, so understand that you're going to, you're going to meet these, meet these resistance points throughout your journey. And I want you to lean into them. Now, the other part of the conversation about resistance is again, the stuff that you're falling back on. We can get so very, very busy and, and you know, there's there's lots to do on our on our to do list and and we can feel very, very productive in, in any given day if we're checking off these things in our to do list like I'm, I'm the same way. Um, I want you to be really, really mindful then um, if, if this is the case, if you have a, if you have a big checklist, um, be mindful of what you're checking off first. 
right? I, I want you to put the, the things that are most uncomfortable for you, the things that you have the most resistance with and, and towards at the top of that list. Because, because if you don't, what's going to happen is it's going to go on the very bottom of the list because again, it's, it's, the most, it's the thing that you're most resistant to and you're going to get everything done first before that. And then, and then you know, you're know you checking all this stuff off before you know it, you, your, your day is done and you haven't done the most important things, which are the things that you're most resistant to, right? You, you got to make sure you're doing those things first. And then, and then the, the other drawback of these, of, of, you know, having a kind of structure like this to your day is that because you've checked all this stuff off, you do feel like you, you, you were productive and, and then, okay, it's okay. You know what I mean? Like just because I didn't get these, these last couple of things done, it's no big deal. I got all this other stuff done. So it all, all also unconsciously justifies you not taking care of the most important things on your list. So move those big things that you're scared of to the top of your to-do list every day. So that way you can start really making forward progress as opposed to just feeling productive. All right. So that's my message for today. Hope that makes sense. Um, if you haven't yet uh, joined us on our on our group page on Facebook, remember it's facebook.com slash groups slash path of the network marketer, a great community to be a part of, get your questions answered, uh, lean on for support, and of course, directly co- uh, connect and communicate with me. So That's it for today. We'll catch you tomorrow with a fresh new episode. Until then, be well, be safe. We'll see you tomorrow.